Cristiano Ronaldo. What comes to mind when you hear the name? Greatness, stardom, superstar, serial goal scorer. Suddenly red shirts flooding back, chance for Cristiano Ronaldo! Loads and loads of money, but it never started like that for him. Life was hard, but his will and drive to be successful were harder. This is the story of how a poor young boy who could not afford food to eat became a global force in the football world. It's February 5, 1985, in the home of José Denis Aveiro, a boy who was born on the island of Madeira in Portugal, Cristiano dos Santos Aveiro Ronaldo. He was the fourth born of his parents, having one elder brother and two elder sisters before him. Although Cristiano Ronaldo was named after the US President Ronald Reagan, he only had the name and never looked like he was ever going to have fame. His family was very poor, which is why his mother tried to abort his pregnancy. He had a cook for a mother and a gardener for a father. There was little hope for the young boy who grew to a life of poverty. Ronaldo could not afford a three-square meal. He even had to beg for free burgers at McDonald's. Ronaldo could not do anything to help his situation except for this one thing, football. Ronaldo started his football career in 1992 at Andorina, where his father was a kit man. He later moved to Nacional in 1995, where he spent two years. It's 1997. 12-year-old Ronaldo went on a three-day trial at Sporting Libsyn. He made a good impression and got signed into the youth academy for 1,500 pounds. At 14, Ronaldo stopped schooling and focused on football. He was having a great start to his career, but he had some challenges too. Ronaldo's father became more and more irresponsible because of his addiction to alcohol, and this affected Ronaldo greatly. He didn't grow up to know the love of a father because his father was barely there for him. One year after Ronaldo signed for Sporting Libsyn Youth Academy, he was diagnosed with tachycardia. His blossoming career almost ended. Ronaldo had heart surgery and resumed training after a three-month break. It was not easy for him at Sporting Libsyn. He was away from his family and Madeira for the first time, and some of his teammates were hostile to him. Some of them even laughed at his accent. But Ronaldo was determined to prove them all wrong on the pitch. Ronaldo was the first to arrive at the training ground and was always the last to leave. He trained hard and was getting better every day. When people began to mock him for his skinny body, he started working out and everything continued to work out for him. It's the year 2002. Ronaldo made his professional debut in September and made a good impression with his movements and dribbles. He continued to feature in more games for Sporting Libsyn, and in just one year, at the age of 18, the big clubs came calling for his signature. His agent had offered him to Liverpool. Arsene Wenger also tried talking him into signing for Arsenal. But ultimately, Ronaldo chose Manchester United over others. Sporting Libsyn had defeated Man United 3-1 in early August 2023, and Sir Alex Ferguson's eyes spotted the golden boy immediately. He later got what he wanted, and Ronaldo became a Manchester United player. His salary was around $2 million per year. He finally made it, an escape route for him and his family from struggle and poverty. Ronaldo wanted to retain his Sporting Libsyn number 28 jersey, but Ferguson knew he was going to be a legend and insisted he take the legendary number 7, worn by the likes of Georgie Best, Eric Cantona, and David Beckham. Ronaldo came on as a substitute to make his debut for Manchester United on August 16, 2003. He looked sharp on the ball and earned a lot of appraisals after the match, but Ronaldo did not impress with goals immediately. His first goal in a red shirt came on November 1, 2003. Manchester United won 3-0 against Portsmouth, and Ronaldo registered a goal for a free kick. His performance that season was not enough to make Man United the English champions. They finished third on the table, and there was more work to do. But the season was not over. Manchester United qualified for the FA Cup final and played against Millwall. Ronaldo opened the scoreline in the 44th minute and contributed to the 4-0 victory. He won his first trophy in his first year in 2004 summer. Ronaldo earned the spot in the Portugal national team in the Euro 2004 tournament. 
His country was the favorites to lift the cup against Greece in the final. But somehow, that never happened. Ronaldo was devastated. He got over it and played well for his club the next season, recording a good number of goals and earning praises from the manager and his teammates. But again, his performances were not enough to make Man United the champions of England. The 2006-2007 season was the breakthrough year for Ronaldo. He was determined to put an end to the trophy drought and back that up with impressive performances and amazing goals. At the end of the season, it happened. Manchester United were crowned the English League champions and Ronaldo's dreams came to pass. The next season was even better. Manchester United won the championship again. And on top of that, they qualified for the Champions League final after seeing off Barcelona in the semi-final. They played against Chelsea in the final and all hopes were high as Manchester United looked to do the double. It was an intense game and in the 26th minute, Ronaldo scored. Lampard equalized later and the game went into penalties. It was Ronaldo's turn. He missed. Luckily, John Terry missed too, and Anelka. Ronaldo won the Champions League for the first time, and he arrived at where he had always wanted, the top. He got his first Ballon d'Or in 2008, and he was undoubtedly the best football player in the world. After six years at Manchester United and a total of three English championships, three cup titles, one Champions League trophy, and one FIFA Club World Cup, Ronaldo sailed forward in his career, and the next destination, Real Madrid. He made a record transfer of 94 million euros to Madrid, with an annual earning of 12 million dollars. He scored 33 goals in 35 games in his first year, but despite that, Real Madrid was unable to lay their hands on any trophy. The story was not the same the following season. Ronaldo helped Real Madrid win the Copa del Rey, he got his first trophy in Madrid. In the 2011-2012 season, he won his first Spanish championship with Madrid. His first four years at Madrid had a lot of positives, but Madrid recorded poor form in the Champions League. However, in 2013, that changed. Madrid went on to win their 10th Champions League title, and Ronaldo got his second Ballon d'Or award. Ronaldo won the Champions League again with Madrid in 2014. After seeing off Atletico Madrid in a Madrid Derby final, Ronaldo played in a Madrid shirt for 9 years, scoring 451 goals in 438 games. He won the Champions League 4 times, the FIFA Club World Cup 3 times, 2 Spanish championships, 2 Spanish cup titles, and 4 Ballon d'Or awards. After his huge achievements for Real Madrid, Ronaldo moved on to new coasts, Juventus. Juventus paid a huge sum of 110 million euros for 33-year-old Ronaldo. Never has such an amount been paid for a player of his age. During his flight from Madrid to Turin, Ronaldo picked up his phone and switched to YouTube. He discovered his channel, watched all the videos, and subscribed immediately. That's what superstars do. You should do the same. He did what he does best again at Juventus, scoring loads of goals and helping Juventus win five titles in the space of three years. However, he was unable to win the Champions League with Juventus. Ronaldo, at 36 years of age, wanted a change again, and this time, he moved to his former club, Manchester United. His first season in his second spell was quite impressive. But in his second season, Ronaldo experienced a decline and had to sit on the bench under new manager Eric Ten Hag. Things fell apart between Ronaldo and Manchester United, and his contract was terminated immediately. It was not over for Ronaldo. Saudi Arabian club Al Nasser signed him in January 2023 with an annual earning of $200 million. At 38, he's still playing for the Saudi Arabian club and has won a cup title with them already. Ronaldo rose from grass to grace, from a poor boy to a superstar football player. But for this other player, the story is not the same. Click this video to see the life of Ronaldinho, a man who went from being a football superstar to a criminal.